What's going on YouTube here? I got a Mystery Ranch tech holster. Um, this is usually made for, uh, I would say, a cell phone and some little tools here. But I turned it into an everyday carry pocket kit or, you know, this could easily fit in your back pocket. This is only probably an inch and a half thick. I'll give you dimensions on this thing. So I tried to put my cell phone into this and it barely fit. And that's a iPhone 13 or iPhone 12 Pro Max. So it's about four inches by seven. And it's about, I don't know, one and a half to two inches in depth. So what's cool about this is it has some uh, weatherproofing on the zipper. It's made out of a durable material from what they say online. Uh, you could put this through your belt loop in your back pocket or you could attach it to your backpack. So there's some multi-purpose right here. Um, now I'll show you everything I try to buy on, you know, on sale or at a pawn shop. You know, a lot of this gear is expensive and I don't want to pay that much money for it. <clears throat> So I'll start off with this Milwaukee knife and why I love this Milwaukee knife. So I wanted something durable where I could bring it to work every day. Now I love that stone wash on here. I don't, you know, it looks good. It's a flipper. It has a two and a half inch blade. Um, I just sharpened the other day, but it does have some wear and tear on here. But I got this for $52 at homedepot.com. It was 10% off, as well as my military discount. So I compared this to some $200 knives at Cabela's, and I'm like, what's the point? It's almost the same knife. Yeah, it might not have the best bearings or, you know, both metal sides or whatever the case may be. But, you know, I can't justify paying that price for a knife when, you know, I'm going to beat up on it and actually use it. This is a new addition. This is a Leatherman Skeletool. I bought this at a pawn shop for about $23, which I feel is a really good deal. I believe they go for $75 brand new. I've actually purchased a couple of them. But, you know, it's a basic multi-tool. It has a knife. You know, whoever had this before really sharpened this thing down. You can kind of see some of the wear on it. It does have a bit driver on there. I'll try to open this up. I probably might have to, you know, put some lubrication in here, but it has a flat head. It also has an extra bit on it. You know, a simple, simple multi-tool. And then it has the needle nose pliers, pliers, and wire cutters. So a lot of functionality in this lightweight multi-tool. But, and it has this carabiner. I don't really care for it, but it's there. So you can kind of see the size comparison to the smaller knife here. Not very big. So that's in one pocket. Now this pack is about $40. This is my first pack that I've purchased at full price. I thought it was a cool thing to put on YouTube and put together, so... Here in the middle, I have a Milwaukee Sharpie and a little notepad from Walmart. <clears throat> and Milwaukee Sharpies are pretty nice. I use them at work all the time. Um, they're only about $1.50. And this is probably about $0.33. Cents. I bought it in a pack of three. So it fits in there well. Up next, I have a little pry bar slash um, flathead and also comes with two bits. Um, I've yet to use this thing, but it's a new addition as well. So it does have a bigger flathead. So I'll kind of show you how it works. This can pop out or twist and you pull out the bit and you can put the bit inside here and you know, this is really good for tight areas you can't get to compared to something like the Skeletool. You're going to need to be at least, you know, three inches, four inches away 
to tighten down whatever or this far away <clears throat> so tight areas of reach it also has five sixteenths and a fourth uh, socket here or cut out I don't think I'll ever use that but it's there but cool little tool kind of expensive though uh, it was fifteen dollars so I feel like you know it's a cool tool to have and I can't wait for when I actually get to use this thing so I'll put that to the side sometimes it's kind of hard to get this back in there you're gonna have to force it Let's see if I can get it back in there so I'm, I'm still questioning this tool but I feel like when you need it it's good to have there it goes I have a small thing of super glue here and then the last item I have in here is a Streamlight Micro Stream. It's rechargeable. I've had this for about, I would say, four years, three years, somewhere around there. It has um, high and low, and you can also adjust the beam. It has this helpful pocket clip as well as a hat clip. And it's only about $30, so I think when I purchased this, it was about $25. But great all-around uh, flashlight. And if you only need a flashlight sometimes, this could last you a good month or two in battery life. And I believe on high, it's an hour and a half. And on low, it's three hours. And it's kind of hard to get the low setting. You kind of have to play with the button a little bit, or I don't know if it's that worn out. But you can see in here, it has a little bit of padding on the back end of it. Oh, I also have some zip ties that are in there. But you can see there's one pocket. I would say there's just enough room for a cell phone and a couple other things. But I got all this gear. So thanks for watching this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys later.